Yes, I'm product manager at SigmaGut and in this role I also follow up SigmaGut's uh, initiatives um, in uh, European standardization. This is what we're going to talk a bit about now. Uh, specifically, we're looking in to identity proofing and identity proofing is the way of verifying that the claimed identity is correct. I mean, uh, this is what you can do by physical appearance. Of course, you go up to the bank or the post office to show an ID card and uh, they check it against your face and determine it's the same person. But of course, in these days, you want to do this remotely and you want to do this by other means than physical showing, physically showing off something. Yeah, there are lots of challenges with identity proofing and one is, uh, as we'll be touching upon later, um, lack of standard practices and procedures and how to do it. Uh, uh, we talked about physical appearance, but I mean, physical appearance can be uh, showing up at the passport office with skilled personnel, top quality equipment and all that's needed to do this identity proofing properly. It could also be at a bank office or a post office where there is someone uh, that perhaps has a few days training and that's all that will uh, make the judgment. So physical appearance is not really well defined as a benchmark. And uh, then you have all these ways of doing it remotely by reading an ID card remotely, uh, determining the content, uh, taking pictures, uh, using face biometrics and all such. And of course, increasingly, you want to go away from physical appearance because um, physical offices tend to disappear and people want to do this online and not having to show up anywhere at uh, office opening times. So Etsy is the European Telecommunication Standards Institute. Um, and it's one of the official European standards bodies. Uh, uh, ESI is a technical committee uh, term called Electronic Signatures and Infrastructures uh, that has existed actually since the EU e-signature directive was launched back in 1999, making sure that uh, when you make rules for uh, electronic signatures, then there's also standards uh, backing up that, how, how the signatures ought to be used. Lately, with the EU ADAS regulation, the scope of the standardization work has been extended to cover all trust services um, that are defined by, by ADAS. And uh, I mean, standards are important for making a level playing field and uh, ensure interoperability between different actors and solutions. Um, and the standardization work has been a great success in this area, actually. Um, very, very much of what Signicat is doing is based on those standards. But then identity grouping is a field that is lacking from the standard and is, that is going to be addressed now. So what Etsy does uh, when there is a need to progress a standards work rapidly is that um, a so-called specialist task force is established. Uh, this is a, a group of uh, picked, selected um, experts that uh, will receive some funding and that will be uh, put together to uh, rapidly work on uh, on the new standard and um, supervised of course and under the responsibility of the technical committee in this case uh, ESI. So for identity proofing um, the EU Commission has actually decided to fund the establishment of such a specialist task force to progress this work and uh, because it's considered that important. 
So the group is composed of um, five experts from uh, Belgium, France, Spain, Germany, and me from Norway, uh, where my role will be to be editor of the final deliverable, which is the policy and security requirements for identity proof and trust services. So what is coming next is then um, we're first gathering all the information needed for uh, making a standard. I mean, standard is not research. Standard is collecting and collecting best practice and documenting best practice for uh, common knowledge. So then those most best practices will be documented. It is Etsy standard that uh, formally has the scope for um, trust services, for example, issuing of certificates, uh, some other applications. But then there's a clear intention and goal that if this work is, um, is has, yields a good result, then an identity proofing standard can be also applicable in other areas. For example, know your customer, uh, uh, for financial services, telecom, other, uh, other issues, for issuing of electronic identities and in general for uh, identity proofing in society. So even though the scope is limited formally to trust services, what results of this could be the European standard in identity proofing, if we do it well. So it will be published uh, summer 2021 and we'll see what happens then.